Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we studied about PF status and user command. We created our own personal functions. But whenever we created our own personal functions, SAP functions got disabled. Suppose I will show you what we did in the previous videos. Suppose I am running this ALV program. This is the output of the ALV program. This is your menu bar, function keys, title bar, application toolbar. We have so many functions available. These all are SAP functions. But when we created our own functions, suppose if I will go to the program, in which we created our own functions. This is the program in which we created our own functions. Then what happened? SAP functions got disabled. Now you can see we do not have so many functions in the menu bar. These all functions got disabled. So many functions, there is no function in the application toolbar. Our, our functions are only, only visible. Suppose back button and this, this display button functionality. Because we created our own functions and SAP functions got disabled. So this is one part. Suppose now customer is saying, okay, this is okay, but I want SAP functions to be as it is. Plus on top of that, I want my own functions. So in that case, what you have to do, all those SAP functions should remain as it is. Plus you want your own functions. So in that case, how you will achieve that particular requirement. So what we will do, I will take same to same program. So this is the program. Suppose we will take all these functions will remain as it is. Plus here I will add my own function. So that part how we will do. So what we will do, we start with same to same approach. We all know if we want our own functions, I will uncomment this parameter I underscore callback PF status set. I will give some name in front of this PF status. Suppose I am giving PF underscore status. We all know if you want your own functions, you have to pass the program name. Suppose I am passing the program name through system variable. Sci rep ID. We have to create a subroutine with same to same name. So we'll create a subroutine with same to same name. I'll just copy this logic from the previous program because we already did that part. So I'll just copy that subroutine with the same to same name. Form PF status. And we did the whole navigation in the previous video. How we did that? For every form, there is a end form. Now, I will give the statement how to create PF status. We all know the syntax is set PF status, name of the PF status. Up to this level, everything is same. Now, after that, what you did, you simply double click and created this PF status. And after that, whatever the button you gave in the application toolbar, that button appeared there. Now, what we want to do, we want SAP functions also should be there plus we want our own functions. So what we will do, we'll firstly copy the SAP functions 
will firstly copy the SAP functions to our own PF status, to our own PF status. Then we add our own functions. So how to do that? You can simply go to SC41 transaction code. Do not create it from here. Just go to SC41. And there is a copy status button. Copy status. There is a SAP program. The name of the program is SAP LSALV. SAP LSALV. Once you go to F4 help of status, you will get two PF status there. Standard and STD pop-up. You can choose standard. And you want to copy the first, you want to copy the status. You want to copy the status of this program to your own program. Give your name, give your name of the program. This is the name of the program in which you want to copy the PF status and give the same to same name of the PF status which you provided. So we gave sales. Copy. Copy. Go to change mode and activate. And you can see all SAP functions, all standard SAP functions copied to our own program PF status and our own program PF status is sales. Now, if I will close this and I will activate my own program, you can see if I will double click on sales, this PF status created is. If I will double click, you can see it is created and we have all SCP functions are as it is available, as it is available. Now you can add your own functions here. Suppose I will add my own functions here. Same to same way, suppose I'm adding display. I will double click. Yes. I will give some function text. I will choose some icon. I'll choose the relevant same to same icon to display card details. Okay. I'll take some shortcut. I choose some icon text. Copy. Now you can see previous case when you created the PF status, you just added your own function. But in this particular video, what we did, firstly, we copied the SAP functions to our own program and then we added our own function. So if I'll just activate my program and show you, so SAP functions will remain as it is, plus our function will be added there. Now you can see all SAP functions are as it is. And you can see at the last, our own function added. So it depends upon the customer, how customer wants. If customer want that, no. He wants his own functions then you can simply create the PF status and whatever is required, you can just enable those things. But if customer is saying, yes, I want SAP functions as it is, plus I want my own functions, then you have to copy the standard PF status to your own PF status, and then you have to go for the additional functions. So that's it in this video. Thank you.